For many years, Dr. Victor Chang nurtured a vision to help all people suffering from heart muscle disease. In 1991, his life was tragically cut short, but his dream lives on. The aim of the special charity event is the raising of money for an organization which is committed to saving lives. Welcome to the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute Dinner and your host, Mike Munro. Good evening and welcome to the Sydney Entertainment Centre for a very unusual night. And there's already a buzz here, you can feel it almost. But tonight isn't just Australia's, it's the world's. And why wouldn't it be when there are over 300 international media covering tonight's extravaganza? And they're here sending their stories back on probably the most talked about woman in the world who joins us tonight, Diana, Princess of Wales. And now to lead you through some of the expected arrivals, including the Princess who is due here any moment, is Jennifer Kite. Thanks, Mike. Yes, the Princess is an integral part of tonight's events, but there are a number of highlights. An exclusive performance this evening by Sting. And I have to say, at rehearsals this afternoon, he was really fantastic. Also taking the stage tonight, Wendy Matthews, and she'll be joined by Christine Anu. So there should be plenty of magic moments. And also, later this evening, we're expecting what should be a very moving speech by Diana, Princess of Wales. Well, as you can see, a huge crowd has turned out for tonight's dinner dance and all these people are paying $1,000 a head so it really is a sensational contribution to the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute. Fiona, can I say welcome this evening? How are you? Jennifer, I'm fine, thank you. What are your thoughts on the uh, Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute? Uh, well, it's a wonderful institute and uh, it's, it's now well and truly set up and we're looking forward to doing some great research in the future and helping out lots of people. I hear you're number one on the princess's dance card. Well, I think that's the princess's misfortune because I'm not renowned as a dancer, whatever else I'm doing. We'll all be watching. Have a good night. That's the problem. Are you hoping to meet the princess? I would like to meet the princess. It's not very often a queen gets to dine with the princess these days. Joe, you were given the honour of doing the princess's hair. What was she like? I was. It was a great honour and she was divine. And who's your dress by? Jonathan Ward. Ah, <laughs> looks beautiful. He had a little bit to work with, so uh, he's done a great job. Good evening, John Laws. How do you feel about the princess attending this evening? I think it's wonderful. It's raising money for a worthwhile cause and uh, whatever does that suits me. just arrived at the entertainment centre. She isn't supposed to be here for another 15 minutes, but the paparazzi haven't been caught off guard. There are literally thousands of flashlights going off. It's an amazing sight. will be greeted on behalf of the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute by Mr. and Mrs. Neville Rand, and Professor Robert Graham's daughter Caitlin will be presenting her with a bouquet of flowers before they all head into the main function room. Well, tonight is shaping up to be one of this year's biggest events, and I have to say the interior of the entertainment centre looks absolutely stunning. After this break, Munro will take over for what should be a very exciting night. special event. A dinner dance in aid of the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute. A night which we hope will touch the hearts of all Australians. I'm Mike Munro. I'm privileged enough to be your host here tonight. And uh, we are going to pay tribute to one great Australian, Dr Victor Chang. He was one of the world's leading heart surgeons, an ambassador for Australia. In fact, a true man of vision. In fact, there are people in this room tonight who owe their very lives to him. Victor Chan tragically died in July 1991, but tonight, five years on, we are still celebrating his life's work. The Institute strives to solve the mysteries of heart muscle disease, 
pump failure, and also to find technologies to combat those diseases. And what a night it is going to be tonight to have you here. We are privileged to have a very special guest of honour. You may even have read about her. She's flown in from London especially to be with us tonight. And from her earliest days in public life, through her support of medical and scientific projects, she's proved that she has a very big heart. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our guest of honour for tonight, Diana, Princess of Wales. Chairman of the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute, the Honourable Neville Rand, and the Chairman of the Organising Committee for this special night, John Landerer, and Dr Chang's three children, Vanessa, Matthew and Marcus. Princess, may I say, all of us here tonight welcome you back to Australia after an eight-year absence, far too long, and we thank you for lending your support to this very worthy cause. It's now my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce our first speaker, a distinguished Australian who shared Victor Chang's dream. Professor Bob Graham was a colleague of Victor Chang's throughout the 70s at St Vincent's Hospital, and he still carries on his work today. Would you please welcome the Executive Director of the Institute, Professor Bob Graham. D dare I say it, trick or treat? <laughs> Diana, Princess of Wales, Viscountess Camden, Mrs. Kerry and Mr. James Packer, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my colleagues at the St. Vincent's Hospital campus and the Sisters of Charity, welcome. And thank you for attending this charity dinner dance on behalf of the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute, a function that will benefit us enormously in our efforts to find new treatments, cures and diagnostics for still our number one killer, heart disease. We're extremely privileged and grateful to have, as our very special guest tonight, Diana, Princess of Wales. What some of you may not know is that among her many, many charitable activities, the Princess has a very special interest in the care and treatment of patients with heart disease. For example, she regularly gives generously of her time and her love for patients with heart disease at the Brompton Hospital in London. What most of you do know is that another person who cared passionately for patients with heart disease, although in a different capacity, was Victor Chang. To give you but a glimpse of this great man and his pioneering work, let me show you this short video. Victor Chang was a friend of humanity. He cared for the poor and the rich, the powerful and the powerless. He was born in Shanghai, China in 1936 of Australian parents. From the age of 12, he was determined to become a surgeon after the death of his mother. He studied at Sydney University in the United States and in Great Britain. He returned to Sydney in 1972 to join Dr. Harry Windsor's pioneering cardiac team at St. Vincent's Hospital. A loving family man, he valued life and showed a genuine interest, not just in his patients, but also their families. But Victor Chang was not only a world-class surgeon. He was an innovator who was never satisfied with present technologies. He spent much of his life looking for a better way to help his patients. When he was killed in 1991, he'd already designed an artificial heart valve and was developing an artificial heart. Victor Chang's dream was to build a world-class heart research facility. The 
research and development he considered so important is being continued today by the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute. Through its work on heart muscle disease and heart pump failure, it's expanding the frontiers of modern medicine. The Institute's vision is to improve life expectancies and the lives of a growing number of Australians affected by heart disease. As you can see, Victor had many great attributes. He was an extraordinary humanitarian who cared deeply about each and every one of his patients. He was a pioneering cardiac surgeon who, amongst many achievements, established heart transplantation in Australia and worldwide. And he was a visionary committed to new advances through research. His loss is immeasurable. Fortunately, at St. Vincent's Hospital, his legacy in terms of heart surgery and the treatment of heart failure has been very ably continued by Dr. Philip Spratt and his heart-lung transplant team. What I'd like to focus on tonight, however, is the fact that Victor's legacy and vision in terms of research has also been continued with the establishment of the Institute. Let me stress that the Institute is still very much in its embryonic stages, and the funds raised here tonight are vital for us to be able to recruit additional researchers, to buy much needed medical equipment, and to pay for the many running expenses involved in producing life-saving research. I thank you all therefore very much for your support, and in particular I thank the Princess for being our special guest. Finally, let me thank you, thank all the members of our board and our appeals committee, and most importantly, a very special person, the chairman of our board, the Honourable Neville Rand. Please enjoy the evening. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Professor Graham and all the members of the Institute. Well, our first artist tonight is an internationally acclaimed superstar, and we're very, very fortunate to have him here with us. He's known for his commitment to major causes around the world, ranging from the Brazilian rainforest to Amnesty International. And tonight, He's helping out with our cause. Would you please welcome Sting? You remember me when the west wind moves upon the fields of Bali. You forget the sun in his jealous sky as we walk in the fields of gold. And so she took her love for to gaze away upon the fields of body. In his arms she fell as her hair came down. Among the fields of gold Will you stay with me? Will you be my love? Among the fields of body You'll forget the sun In its jealous sky As we lie in the fields of gold I see the west wind move like a lover's soul upon the fields of body. Feel her body rise when you kiss her mouth among the fields of gold. I never made promises like.